how self-care is an important aspect of parenting. Hi mamas, I'm Maggie Schott, content manager here at Bojen. Welcome to the Express Yourself channel here on our YouTube, where we share tips, tricks, and all things helpful on your mommying journey. In this video, I'm going to talk about how self-care is an important aspect of parenting. We were so lucky to have Amanda Abramson, social media manager for Aura's Amazing Herbal, guest blog on the Bojen website on this very topic. I'm going to drop a link in the description box below so that you can go check out that blog post. So let's get into it. First and foremost, we need to get it into our heads and accept that self-care is not selfish. One of my favorite quotes and stood the test of time, I don't know who said it, but you cannot pour from an empty cup. So mama, to give your family the very best, you need to invest in yourself. You need to be rested. You need to be cared for. You need to be well rested. You need to be energized. You need to be happy. And self-care is the best way to do these three things. My second tip is to be kind to yourself. We talk to ourselves all day long. There's a litany of thoughts that run through our head. A lot of these are self-doubt and triggered by things that we might have done wrong or things that we thought we could have done better. Start to listen and turn into these thoughts that you're having. Ask yourself, what are these words that you would want your partner, your child, or your friend to speak to you? There's a good chance that if they're really negative, they're, that the answer is no. You don't want somebody else to say these to you. So why are you saying them to yourself? When you start to listen for these types of thoughts, you can start to catch them and then you can start to replace them. So when you do have a negative thought, I could have done that better or why did you do that, mama? That was so silly. You can now replace it and find something that you've done positive or something that you're good at, um, you know, something that's a blessing or that you're thankful for. And as you do this, you'll start to notice that you're going from negative thoughts to much more positive conversation with yourself. That can take a load off of your shoulders and do wonders for investing in yourself and your self-care. So you're going to get back to a much more happy, healthy, and energized version of yourself. This one comes from Amanda at Aura's Amazing Herbal. She says to find a self-care anchor, to find a self-care anchor point. So an anchor point here is something that you love to do. Do you like to read a book? Do you like to take a bath? Do you like to paint your nails? Uh, use a bath bomb? Like what is something that you go to to unwind and enjoy yourself or, you know, pamper yourself a little bit at the end of the day? Find out, do some soul searching and figure out what this is. It could be a couple things. But find at least one or two things that you know that you can do to invest in yourself or to provide yourself with a little bit of self-care and then work these into your schedule. If it's once a week that you get to take a bath for 15 to 30 minutes by yourself uninterrupted, mama, that's going to do wonders to help you. If it's 10 minutes of reading a book before you go to bed at night, that's going to help you recharge and re-energize yourself so that you're able to care for your family and give them your very best the next day. The next point is to keep your routines. There's a good chance that before you became a mom, you had a skincare routine, that you had a beauty routine. Now, we're not telling you to run out and just pile on the makeup, but your pregnancy and your birth and now breastfeeding it causes changes in your hormones, and those changes in your hormones have different various effects on your body. You might have more BO. You might have a little bit of trouble with acne or blemishes in your skin. So to help us feel good about ourselves, we need to take care of ourselves. So make sure you're cleaning your skin. Make sure you're clarifying it if you need to. Make sure you're moisturizing it. And hydration is a big part of that skincare routine, mama, and your body is using a lot of your water to make breast milk. So make sure you stay hydrated. Tip number five is to pamper yourself. Again, you might start thinking, yes, but that's selfish. I don't have the time. Invest in yourself, mama. Self-care is important and it's not selfish. Find a bath bomb, a face mask, something little, paint your nails, like whatever you feel is 
a little bit extra, you know, going one step beyond that anchor point that we talked about, try that. You'll be amazed at how it can do wonders for your mood, your energy. You can uplift yourself by just doing one little thing. All right, try working that into your schedule this week. The next tip is to connect or stay connected. Having a baby can be a very isolating thing. Not only are you staying at home more until your baby is vaccinated, but with today's current climate, we're all social distancing a lot more than we normally would. Humans are social beings. We need to feel connected and we need to talk to people. I don't care if you have to actually schedule a five minute phone call or a 10 minute phone call with your mom, your gal pal, your best friend, whoever it is, work that into your schedule and make sure you're talking to other adults and family members because that does wonders for your mood and your psyche. We're lucky that we have Zoom and FaceTime and all of these different communication apps that we really didn't have before. So staying connected is yes, easier, but we still have to make an effort to do so. This is probably one of the biggest tips and it's to start small. When we say self-care is an important aspect of parenting, we don't mean that you need to completely overhaul your entire schedule and reorganize and rearrange and just, you know, go hog wild. Start small, start where you are and do what you can. Work with what you already have in the house or maybe Amazon Prime something a little bit special for yourself. Whatever you can do now, try that. Do you have a book? You don't have to run out and get one. Or do you have, uh, if you like to read, can you get a digital version of a book through your library? If you like to take a bath, you don't need to go get a bunch of bath bombs or, you know, bath salts or different things. Just take the bath. If you want to take it one step further later on and pamper yourself with those bath salts or whatever it might be, go ahead and do that later. But start with what you have and start where you are. It's going to help. I promise. Thank you so much for watching this video, mamas. I've hoped that some of these tips have helped you. I'm going to drop also a link in the description below where you can get our Mama on Track journal and planner. Those are some other thing, resources that you can use to invest in yourself and recharge. If you have any questions about what we've talked about in this video, about Bojen, our breast pump cushions, please email us at pumped at bojen.com. Our mommy care team is ready and waiting for you. You can also feel free to drop us a comment here below this video, and we'd love to extend an invitation for you to join our BoGen Mom group on Facebook. Just go on Facebook and search BoGen Mom. We have a vibrant community full of so many different moms from so many different backgrounds. It's a really unique and thriving community. Please join us. We'd love to have you. Thanks so much, mamas. We'll see you in the next video.